I was fighting some bad guys. And how did you break your leg? Same thing. kids, two boys and a girl, to my boys, it's no big deal. Dad's missing an arm and a leg. All right. Not impressed by anything I do. I can go run a race, climb a mountain. They don't care. My little girl at, will constantly ask the question about my arm and my leg. What's on your nose right here? That's actually metal. Metal? Yep. There's a lot of military history in my family, and I didn't want anything to do with any of it. September 11th happened, and I was 20 years old, I was physically fit, and I just saw it as something that I needed to do because of my age and I was capable. You know, we rode in helicopters, flying over empty desert land, landing in. When I was injured was December 19th of 2005. The area we were in was an area known as the Triangle of Death. My platoon leader woke me up and said, hey, we're gonna take these Humvees to go pick up the rest of the platoon. Just wanted to let you know we're leaving. I got up and I said, no, sir, you go, I go, and I'm driving the lead vehicle. We drove headlights off, night vision goggles on. What I didn't see was a trip wire that was stretched across the road. When my front tires hit it, it detonated a roadside bomb. It threw this 9,000 pound armored Humvee flying through the air and landed in a canal running adjacent to the road. When I woke up, I didn't know where I was, what had happened. Once the information set in, it was horrible on me. I thought more than a few times that it had been better if I'd have just died. I'd have been looked at like a hero, but instead here I am, I've had two of my limbs taken from me. I would drink every day, but then I'd go out in public and I was fine. But there was this other side of me that I was just really hiding. I kept it from being something that was visible in front of the kids, but I didn't have a close relationship with them. They didn't have the father that was close to them that children need. And I finally decided that this has got to stop. You know, something's got to give. I decided to join a gym. You know, after a couple of weeks, I started feeling better, changed my diet and how I was eating. I felt like I was, I was back to the know I was before I was injured. Everything in my life started to improve. You know, I felt better. Uh, I could see it in the reaction of my children. Looking at the stars, looking at the stars through the trees. I do know the difference of going from living a life of being miserable and out of shape, and how that can turn around completely just by being healthier. Being a personal trainer and being injured, I take people's excuses away. You know, whatever it is that you tell me that you can't do, I'm like, we can find something to get it done. I've had nothing but people help me. The least I can do is try to help anyone I can that's in need around me. 